I'm here at HPE Discover in Madrid with Bob Moore, and cybersecurity, of course, is something that throughout the industry has always been an important topic, but you guys have an interesting take on how you're preventing attacks before they happen with servers. Yeah, we do. Uh, Jake, thanks for that. Uh, cybersecurity is really relevant. It's the topic uh, of the day of the year, I think. It's, it's so relevant and so pervasive, and, and it's largely due to the increased attacks that we're seeing, and I often quote the cybersecurity venture research that's out there about how pervasive cybersecurity threats really are and the fact that by 2021 it'll cost the global economy some six trillion dollars which is a third the GDP of the United States and more than the GDP of France, Spain and Italy combined in the greatest transfer of wealth in the history of mankind. It's just huge and so we have a really large focus on protection, uh, cybersecurity protection at HPE and we've actually gone beyond that because no longer is just protection sufficient, you have to have defense in depth, and that means protection, but then also detection, recovery, and then frankly, restoration capabilities as well. And, and so we got some great capabilities at HPE. We've worked collaboratively with agencies like the FBI, and we had them here with us today at, uh, H and yesterday at HPE Discover, and we had their embedded agent with Europol, so we're getting that European perspective as well on these new threat vectors and, and attack surfaces. And, and working with those agencies as they identify where the threats are coming from, then we identify the technologies, develop and deploy those products that have this new and differentiated security capability. And one of those that we did deliver with the uh, HPE Gen 10 product line was the HPE Silicon Root of Trust. And that does provide the ultimate protection because it locks down all of our firmware. The, in the past, what we've seen is the control plane has largely not had any attention paid to it when it comes to protecting it or providing some protection. Uh, and so the hackers, and this is a trend that was identified by the FBI, the hackers have migrated a little bit out of the OS layer, or what we call the data plane, where the application, the OS reside, and down into the control plane. And what we've done is now, we've, in advance of that trend happening, in advance of those hackers doing that, we've delivered the protection against those hackers uh, getting into the uh, infrastructure control plane or the firmware by delivering the HPE Silicon Root of Trust with our Gen 10 product. So I understand that you guys have even gone so far as to change the way that, that servers are manufactured. Can you talk a little bit about that? Yes, you know, supply chain is so critically important. We've seen a lot of emphasis on it here recently. We want customers to be sure that their product is protected not only when it gets to their data center and is up and running, but also as it's being produced by HPE and sh through the shipping and receiving what we call a supply chain all the way to them. So we actually have a unique process at HPE where we uh, make, design our own silicon, our BMC silicon, for us it's our ILO ASIC, and we actually make physical changes to that silicon. Unlike almost all of our competitors who just buy that silicon off the shelf, we actually are designing our own and so we're able to uh, they, they sometimes call it burning the gates or opening the gates. So we make the physical changes and we're embedding this indelible fingerprint into the silicon which anchors all of that firmware. And so fortunately now with our Gen 10 product line, uh, you, you can rest assured that the firmware is protected because if anything gets inserted, any compromised code or ransomware or malware gets into that control plane or the firmware, it changes the configuration, the bits and bytes of the firmware, and therefore doesn't match the hash, and so we can detect that something's happened. But we don't just stop there. It's not just that we detect it. We actually can go to the next phase, and that's recover it. And we do, we've taken it, so there's this taxonomy that we often hear in the industry. It's protect, detect, recover, and restore. And now we've taken it one step further to the restoration with our server system restore, which was just published here last week. Uh, we had the article in Forbes magazine that talked a lot about, uh, written by Matt Kimball of More Insights, uh, that talks a lot about this capability to restore. And why that is so important is uh, with all the you know, hacks happening these days, it's almost invariable that you're going to get some type of a penetration or an attempt to get into your infrastructure, but you don't have to suffer the consequences of a breach. So we recover all the firmware, essentially, long story short, we can recover the firmware, and then we actually help facilitate a restoration of the OS from an ISO site or wherever the customer happens to have it, then the applications, and then finally the data, also recovering all the settings, the ILO settings that are typically take a little while to get established. And so rather than having to, uh, if you suffer from uh, like a WannaCry ransomware attack, rather than having to replace all the equipment, we can recover and restore that uh, fairly easily, fairly uh, seamlessly, and that's, that's a big, big step in the right direction of, of helping customers avoiding 
uh, having to pay the ransom uh, when they get a ransomware attack. And so the other thing that I think that I, I heard uh, discussed here was you also are providing an education component because there's a lot of human element that goes into getting hacked. Yes, I want to talk about our, I do want to mention our HPE Point Next services that uh, have a great deal of offerings when it comes to uh, service support for the human element. A lot of uh, companies don't realize just how important that is because uh, it's, it's very tempting to do something, it's human nature to click on emails and click links on emails and especially if the email in a phishing attack for example is so compelling because it comes from your CEO or CFO and it says you've got to click here to release payment to some, and you click on it and boom the hacker is into the whole uh, infrastructure in your company. So we have to have really good training and the FBI was talking with us yesterday about the fact that 5% of employees will click on any email, so that's uh, crazy dangerous because uh, all you got to get to is one of those 5% of your employee base and they're going to click on anything and, and uh, invite the hackers right in. So what we have to do, and our Point Next Services does that quite well, is uh, training and education to guard against that human element, we call it, or the, the human uh, uh, ability to be somewhat lured in and try to be uh, lured into clicking on a link. It's uh, yeah, a delicate topic, but we do a lot of training to help the human so, element. Social engineering, I think, is the... Uh, it's social is the approved, yes, the uh, euphemistic name for that. That's right, <laughs> social engineering, but it is a big trend. They've identified that both here in Europe through the Europol report that we've just uh, seen published and, of course, with the FBI. Another example of a human element that uh, you, you want to. You always want to try to help uh, be compliant, but um, if you leave USB sticks in a parking garage, we've seen this happen. The FBI's talked about this, and they're marked U.S. payroll or, or uh, you know, company payroll or something like that. That is compelling to uh, an employee. Invariably, one of those USB sticks is going to get plugged into the uh, computer or server, and uh, boom, the hack. That's a great delivery method for a virus or a malware or a ransomware or something. So that's that human element. Uh, people uh, like to, uh, you know, you have USB sticks and use those, uh, but they're just not always the best thing unless you know where they're coming from. So knowing that there's always these these constant changes in the industry around, um, the, the hackers get more creative as the as the server patches happen and things like that. <laughs> how how do you stay ahead of that? That's a really great point. Uh, you know, we cannot, although we have the world's most secure industry standard servers. Uh, and we've substantiated that with external third-party testing, black hat uh, penetration testing, uh, that has declared HPE two generations ahead of our competitors. We're not rest, less resting on our laurels. We definitely have to keep moving forward uh, aggressively. And we do that by working with agencies uh, like the FBI and their FBI uh, embed with Europol to identify what the new threat vectors are and uh, new things that were identified in the report, the Europol report, like crypto jacking and other things uh, and ransomware, the pervasiveness of ransomware. What we do is work with them, we identify through them what the new attack vectors are, and then we design all the new products and technologies to help uh, defeat those attackers before they can do any damage, before they can get in. So you'll see us uh, deliver a lot more things with security in the future that are uh, really futuristic. We're going to be leveraging more artificial intelligence because we're uh, the masters at that, and we, and we actually have a lot of that. A good example is our Aruba Introspect that uses, uh, uh, communicates and works with ClearPass to actually quarantine users that look suspicious so they can keep any type of nefarious behavior for, out of the uh, networks and, and emphasize that we're announcing here for our server product line. Uh, we'll be uh, working toward delivering some artificial intelligence through that on the security front. Uh, and you'll see us expand the Silicon Route of Trust, the HP Silicon Route of Trust that we have to many other components uh, within the server to include some of the options. So it'll become a very holistic security protection, detection, and recovery option for customers. All right. Well, I look forward to see where that goes. <laughs> it'll be great. Thank you so Thanks, much, Bob. Jake. Appreciate it. Thank you. <laughs>